So this week's show is going to be gold for those of you that are really following the property market because uh, we've actually got the CEO of the Real Estate Institute of South Australia, which, by the way, is the peak body, the ones we say yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full to, and the chief of that here is in the room with us, uh, Greg Troughton, welcome. Great to be here, Anthony. Thanks very much for the invite. Now, Greg, before we get underway, we know that you're the head of the Real Estate Institute, but you've taken leave to come here during your lunch hour in between learning how to be an auctioneer. What's going on? Well, look, I, I've, I've decided to stop giving the sermon from the mountain and actually understand what auctioneers do. You're coming and, out of the uh, White House. Coming out of the... Absolutely. I thought I'd better come out off of the uh, top of the hill and actually understand what's going on. So um, you enjoying it? Yes, I am. The, the, the people that are doing the course uh, are asking some questions that I didn't know the answer to, and I thought I knew most of the uh, legislative stuff. So uh, I've still got a bit of work to do, I think. Good work. No, that's great. Now, let's talk about the things that affect the viewers. Um, your preside over the, uh, the organisation that kind of follows us very closely. Yes. And you have a broader brush than we do because we operate in certain areas. Tell me what is happening, what has happened, observations. Let's go for it. All right, well, I think it's really important to talk about 2011. 2011 was not a pleasant year around the real estate traps. It was a very difficult year. Um, the stories I was hearing uh, in terms of anecdotes, uh, people not turning up to open inspections and all those sorts of things. Can I just say it's an absolute delight now to be in 2012, to get 2011 behind us. Yeah. And uh, the stories I'm getting now are there are three or four or five groups coming through open inspections. Now I'm talking right across the range here. So it's a delight... Uh, that people are showing interest in property. Uh, and I, I do have to say that you know, there's global economic uncertainty. Every morning I turn the TV on, I find out what's going on in Europe. And it's getting last of it, aren't we? Well, last. we are, and apparently there's a deal that's been done, but there's no detail. And I'm at a point where I'm a particularly bad golfer, Anthony, and when I hit a golf ball behind a tree, I believe in taking the medicine shot, and that's just knocking it out. <laughs> Whereas I think that's what we need with the uh, global economic uh, crisis that's going on. Sometimes I think we're just... We might be better off just taking the, the medicine. Having said that, uh, I look at the numbers for uh, South Australia and, uh, you know, 3.5% with all this doom and gloom reduction in uh, property values, I have to say I'm delighted. Absolutely This was delighted. 2011. Yes, that's right, 2011. Uh, and, you know, 2012 is, uh, is looking up. We're coming from a low base, though. Right, OK. Now, tell me about complaints that you get at the REI. What's the common thing? Is it owners are probably saying, the agent didn't sell my house and sent me a bill, or what's the kind of... Uh, where's the consumer's sensitivity at the moment? Uh, the sensitivity at the moment is generally... If I'd known it was going to go for that, I would have thrown in another ten thousand dollars. It's the, it's the purchaser now. Oh, I know really? Yeah, I know there's not a lot out there, but okay. um, it seems to be a bit of a theme. Um, and the other main one uh, tends to be around property management. And uh, I know you've been a very strong advocate yeah. about <laughs> taking the uh, the, the um, relevant legislation bringing into the 21st century. And we're going to work very hard with the government to try and bring that reality uh, uh, to the fore because it's, it's having an impact on investment in South Australia. So you're referring to the actual property management side of the business? That's right. So for those of, the, those of you that may not be aware, in res residential real estate, there's two quite distinct areas. There's the sales area yes. and there's the property management. Property management are where the investors give the real estate agent the property to look after, uh, which we're in a big way into that space. And what you're saying is that that area has needs a bit of uh, legislation wrapped around it to help get some order into it. That's exactly right. I mean, some of the stories we're hearing, um, you know, landlords, we, we, we obviously want lots of landlords investing in property, mm. uh, roofs over people's heads and uh, yeah, the stories that we're getting at the moment is uh, the, the processes around the uh, legislative and government requirements uh, is uh, very cumbersome. So we want to work with the government to tidy those things up. Now, you're doing your auctioneers course today. You obviously don't think auctions are going to die and be gone. So tell me, how's, what's your take on uh, auctions in 2012? My take on auctions in 2012, we are only about, an, uh, depends on who you're talking to, an 8 to 15% auction state. We are not New South Wales or Victoria. Uh, auctions have their place, and I actually think they're going to uh, more and more come to the fore. Now, I know Gary Topp, my offsider down at the Society, will love to hear me say that, but I actually think that um, the marketplace is slowly sorting itself out. Most importantly, I think vendors are now more willing to meet the market. You know, that, that 2010 price that we saw uh, trying to be advocated in 2011, I think that's washed out through the system now. And look, there are still some... Uh, uh, unreasonable vendors. Uh, I've heard you say it, you know, get the price right, it will move. So uh, uh, I'm looking forward to that vendor expectation being managed moving forward, and auctions are a great way of doing that. 
Okay, so we're running roughly as an industry at thirty percent at the moment. Yes. And I had the question this morning. I was actually looking at a property this morning, halfway to Victor, it was down at Mount Compass. Absolutely amazing place. We had the whole discussion about why would I auction if only thirty percent are selling at auction. Uh, and of course, the real answer to that is time on market. Spot on. Yeah. Spot on. Time on market. I mean, uh, your next guest, Cameron, will obviously have all of those uh, stats. The uh, time on market is is extending out. And the important thing about time on market is it only reflects those that are actually sold. Um, so uh, it's very hard to have time on market for those that are still sitting around. So the end date, I don't want to get too technical, but whatever number it comes up with, it's a lot longer as well. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's very evident, anecdotally, certainly at our end, and definitely a fact with us, is that any property that's auctioned generally is about half the amount of time that it sits on the market, irrespective of whether it's in that 30% success rate or not. It's bundled into pretty much 80 to 90% success rate of being on the market for a lot less time. Absolutely, absolutely. There's no question about that. Now, Greg, we're going to go to be part of the, uh, the show and we'll be back with some questions in a minute. So let's go look at those sold properties and go and go and go on.